Kia ora. Today, we are going to talk about intramuscular injections. Some medicines are best given as an injection into a muscle. This is known as an intramuscular or IM injection. IM injections are usually given by a healthcare provider such as your doctor or nurse. However, if you need injections regularly, they may teach you or your caregiver how to do it. In this video, you will learn what intramuscular injections are, how to use them safely, and tips to reduce any discomfort. This video does not give detailed steps on how to give an IM injection. Your healthcare provider can teach you that. What is an intramuscular injection? An IM injection gets medicine into the muscle that is found under a layer of fat that lies just beneath your skin. An IM injection is given into large muscles such as your thigh, bottom, or upper arm. Your healthcare provider will tell you which area is best for your medicine. How do I measure my dose? Some IM injections are available as pre-filled syringes, which means the syringe is already filled with medicine and is ready to use. Other IM medicines come in a small glass bottle or vial, so the dose needs to be measured using a needle and syringe. If you need to do this, your healthcare provider will teach you how. Do I need to warm my medicine before use? If your medicine is stored in the fridge, take it out of the fridge and bring it up to room temperature before you use it. This will reduce discomfort during injection. You can also warm the medicine by rolling the syringe or vial between your hands for a few minutes. Do not put the syringe or vial in hot water or the microwave. This can affect the way the medicine works. Do I need to wash my hands in the injection site? Always wash your hands with soap and water before giving an IM injection. The skin at the injection site should also be clean before giving the injection. If your skin looks dirty, wash the area with soap and water and pat it dry. Or you can use an alcohol swab and let the skin dry completely. If your skin doesn't look dirty, you don't need to clean it before giving an injection. How can I reduce pain and discomfort? It's normal to get some pain and discomfort after an IM injection. Here are a few tips to reduce the pain. Change the area of injection so you don't give it in the same side as before. Don't inject into an area that is tender, painful or red. If you bleed, apply a little pressure over the injection site. You can use your finger, a cotton ball or a piece of gauze. After the injection, don't rub the area as this can cause bruising. How do I get rid of my used needles and syringes? You must get rid of your used needles and syringes safely. Keep them out of reach of children and pets and places where they could hurt others. You can do this by buying a sharps container from your pharmacy. This is a special container made of hard plastic that has a tight fitting lid so used needles and syringes can be stored securely. Never flush needles and syringes down the toilet or place them in household or public rubbish or recycling bins. Once your sharps container is full, take it to your pharmacy for safe disposal. Talk to your pharmacist if you have any questions about a sharps container. If you have questions about your IM injection or dose, contact your healthcare provider. For more information, visit healthnavigator.org.nz/im.